yeah this is a bit bleak news but also kind of a yeah yeah this is bleak news but also a cautionary tale to most human beings we should we all should be aware of this but i think sometimes we do sometimes get swept up in the headiness of life and forget what life is actually all about day to day and year to year wherever it may be so this is courtesy of buzzfeed news it says kim kardashian wept about feeling like a failure and a loser as her marriage to Kanye west ended after admitting she'd been unhappy for years madness right so this is the following um you may have heard that keeping our connections is coming to an end after 14 years and 20 seasons last night the penultimate episode of the final season aired and here's what unfolded if there's one thing about this clan of family members right they're definitely gonna work out a way to make um them signing off from reality tv show a box office event and what better way to box office what better way to kind of you know um put like a full stop at the end of this chapter um or the end of this paragraph by divulging and letting people into this very public breakup and dissolving of a happy family unit it's absolutely incredible the lengths that they will kind of you know fall to in order to kind of reveal or and keep people glued it's very it's very much a talent and that crib looks beautiful and it continues so it says yeah this week we finally see the family taking their last on-camera vacay a uh, perfectly relatable 17,000 square foot property overlooking Lake Tahoe but as they arrive it's clear there's something wrong with Kim who announces she wants to go to her room and never come out <laughs> so I shouldn't be laughing during the confessional Chloe reveals that Kim's been struggling privately behind the scene about her relationship bloody hell and it Chloe looks completely like not not to be one of those people but you know because I don't pay attention too much to everything that they do but from the pictures I see of Chloe she generally does look different in every single image and it's not even like a slight difference it's like it's, and again it's mostly her fault because she edits her own pictures on her own social media feed so much that when you do see an image of hers that hasn't been touched with her own finger it just makes you think huh who's this person then it's just so startling isn't it? and it's just an unfortunate state that we're in at the moment or you know what most people are in most people some people are in let's revise that where some young ladies feel as if like you know they have to edit themselves to that extent on social media in order to make themselves feel whole or to feel better or just to feel more comfortable whatever the term may be but it's just unfortunate because what ends up happening is that it just creates a cyclical um loop of insults and you know dissing and you know people taking a piss out of you online because every time you upload your own pictures you look one way and someone else takes a picture of you you look another way they then leave comments and it just continues a spiral of like you know um negative emotion feed or whatever yeah, yeah a, i don't know you know what i mean but maybe they maybe they kind of thrive off this as well maybe there is such a thing with some of these people that exist in this sort of realm where any attention is good attention mad as it may be that may be the thing so anyway it continues here it says junior confessional career reveals that kim's been struggling privately behind the scenes about her relationship and said had a huge fight with Kanye right before that they left the trip and is that redirecting her sadness anger and frustration what does that even mean redirecting her sadness anger and frustration how can you redirect your anger and frustration redirecting anger and frustration is pulling out a gun and aiming it outside of a window in las vegas and you know shooting on you know an innocent bystanders that's redirecting your anger going to your room isn't redirecting anger is it i don't anyway um it continues says when they were shown the flashback scene that broke my heart in it we see kim crying to courtney kylie and kendall i honestly can't do this anymore <laughs> look at the fit that always that always um that's the kind of a uh, phase that you have when some one of your close friends is going through something very really traumatic but you don't know how to help right like kind of got that kind of face like uh what do i do do i put my arm around you do i give you a tissue do i cry also that's usually your best way to go about it if you actually want to help somebody and somebody's going through a tough emotional problem just start crying as well just start just start, think think about something sad and just start crying maybe that's the only way they can actually help them but it's, it's quite a funny scene <laughs> <laughs> the two kind of uh conflicting emotions they're like, going through you know does this mean i can't get any more yeezys and this was great because their family's been torn apart but anyway i shouldn't be laughing let's continue it says yeah i'm still get i'm still in this place i guess it's a kim quote it says i'm still in this place where i've been stuck for years she goes on he goes and moves to a different state every year and i have to get together so i can raise these kids he's an amazing dad and he's done an amazing job that's a bit of a that's a bit of a weird sentence in it really in it somebody that you're meant to be in a relationship with 
as a partner in crime, you know, and also as a partner in terms of looking after your family, moves to different states every year. You have to just kind of gather your things and follow him where he goes. But he's also an amazing dad. That doesn't make any sense. How can you be an amazing dad if you move to a different state every year? You know what I mean, he's not in, he's not in the army. Um, you'd imagine so. Maybe he would describe you know running a multi billion dollar fashion empire as equivalent to being in the army. Can't even probably say that. Probably harder than being a navy seal, but still. That's a mad sentence, isn't it? He continues when Kanye responds that Kanye still will be a great dad even if they divorce. <laughs> Kim Sobs, he deserves someone that can go and support his every move and go and move to Wyoming. I can't do that. He should have have a wife that supports his every move and travels with him, and I can't. Yeah, again, you know, this is again another cautionary tale in it the modern relationships nowadays especially with this kind of idea that you can have it all it's just a fallacy really whether it's men or women doesn't really matter it's a fallacy you can't have it all you have to choose we don't have the ability to have everything we have the ability maybe to choose the things that maybe bring us the most amount of fulfillment most amount of peace give us purpose but in terms of having everything it's just impossible to do so especially for a prolonged period of time especially also if you attach happiness to it if you just want to try and attain as much as you can in this world and try and make your life as best as trying to kind of create the perfect life for yourself in whatever way it may be then yeah fair enough go ahead try and strive towards that but if you're attaching an emotion to it too whether it's kind of contentment whether it's happiness whether it's fulfillment you're definitely going to be disappointed because most i think in my opinion most of our time is spent on this planet trying to bounce back or to respond to or recover from heartbreak disappointment you know like that's what most of your life is and then the short bursts of enjoyment and happiness and whatever it may be called you have along the way are what kind of give you a reason to wake up in the morning right because if our lives were just misery and dread every single day it would make waking up really difficult but there are occasions where you're able to have a good time where you're able to kind of receive a compliment from a stranger that brightens up your day celebrate your birthday you know see a friend do something really amazing or that they've really been working hard to try and do regardless you know what i mean those things kind of help you along the way but this idea that you can have it all it just doesn't work and this is the perfect example of it right kim is somebody that has it all what you would think quote unquote you know monetarily you know fame wise family wise all that good stuff and still you know the everyday struggles that we all have to deal with are still kind of affecting her in some meaningful way which again goes to show that you have to kind of pick and choose your battles in some way shape or form um it continues here it says then the sucker punch comes just says it feels like a failure it feels like a fucking failure that is my third fucking marriage she says i feel like a fucking loser but i can't even think about that i want to be happy it's just impossible though isn't it you have to be like not impossible but it's just one of those things where you just the things one thing you realize as soon the older you get i think it comes with experience i think i was a uh, i was like um um beyond naively optimistic about things and then you to decide to be a little bit more cynical not not too cynical so you rob yourself of having any kind of joy and you know and spontaneity in your life but to the point where you're not kind of in this weird but again maybe this is more so because she's just going to go through a really difficult time emotionally she's just blurting out where it becomes you know um across your mind the first way but this idea that you know you're not going to fail and things are going to be a-okay from the moment you decide to say your vows until the, the kids pop out that you're going to have this kind of seamless kind of problem free marriage is really ridiculous um there's going to be issues you know you're going to encounter them along the way if you can rectify them cool if you can't you go your merry way but it doesn't necessarily define you that failure it doesn't mean that you're a bad person it doesn't mean that you've done anything wrong really to be honest it's just one of those things that just kind of happens in life and you just have to kind of respond to it in jest and keep it moving um but again this this kind of does show it is kind of an illuminating kind of insight into the idea that maybe she did see this marriage as a kind of way to redeem herself a redemption arc right a way of kind of proving the doubters wrong you know i was a hot girl i was doing all this other stuff before i made some mistakes in relationships here and there but i'm deciding this is my next chapter i'm knuckling down i'm a family woman and this was kind of her it, i wouldn't say um way of 
whatever it was it was a way to kind of redeem yourself and it kind of didn't work out and now maybe this you know this crying face and this despair is more so a reaction to all that pent up hope and um you know that was kind of attached to this marriage and what can you do man what can you do life is just misery really for the most part there's so much to unpack here that my brain's exploding first is interesting scene to insert about okay cool doesn't matter um regardless tough times we'll kind of go through them i think for the most part this is another kind of reminder that you know you shouldn't be looking at people too tough and you know scribing couple goals and all that malarkey because you never know what people are going through behind closed doors and again this idea that you can have it all male or female is just ridiculous it really is you should pick and choose the things that you're going to try to have. You should obviously aspire to have as much as you can. But in order to have all of that stuff, you also have to realize you're not going to be happy having your This ascribing an emotion to it is just ridiculous. Because when that happiness doesn't happen, you're going to end up being distraught. You're going to end up being fed up and you're going to you know, chuck yourself off the nearest bridge, which is obviously not the best way to deal with those situations. So, hey, it sounds harsh. It sounds tough. But that is life.